What's up guys, Zami here and you're watching Heavy Metal Pump. Today I've got another department review for you and we're gonna look at the final installment to the I Hate Monday lineup. For today, we're gonna look at the I Hate Monday Grease. Now this is an all base pomade with a firm to heavy hold. And once again, I wanna thank Aziz for sending me this. Thanks dude. And without further ado, we're gonna take a closer look at the jar right now. And here we have I Hate Monday Grease. Comes in a 4 ounce amber glass jar with a golden lid. Has the familiar I Hate Monday label design on the lid. You get the same label on the body of the jar as well. You get some information of the brewer on both ends of the label. And you also get a tab on the lid with the product name, the product specifics and the ingredients. The overall design is really nice but once again, I do wish that it was easier to distinguish between the three in the lineup. And if you open it up, you get the standard off-white pomade inside. The scent according to the label is vanilla. And what I actually get is a tobacco vanilla scent. It's the same exact tobacco vanilla scent on Prospite Clay. It's really spicy and sweet. It's also noticeable but not overpowering so it's not really going to bother you throughout the day. Now scooping it out with a small bit of pressure comes out pretty easily. It feels really soft and pliable and breaking it down. Once again, really easy to break down as well. It doesn't have a waxy feel. It feels really soft and smooth. Applying into the hair, there is a small amount of resistance but it's really not that bad. You don't really get that much tugging or pulling. I'm applying into completely dry hair as you can tell and I'm barely getting any tugging or pulling which is really good. With that said, of course, if it does tug and pull for you, you can always apply in slightly damp or towel dried hair. The scent is quite noticeable especially as you're working it in. It's gonna stay noticeable for the first couple of hours but after that it's pretty much gonna fade down into a really subtle scent. As for the shine, it claims to give a medium to high shine but I don't really get that. What I get is more of a low to medium shine at best, which still not that bad. Slicking it back, goes through pretty easily. There is a small amount of resistance, but that's from the hold that you get from the pomade. You also get a nice amount of slickness without it feeling overly greasy with this pomade. Gonna style my hair now, talk to you again in a bit. And I think I'll pin my going to call that done. So as you can tell, I'm getting a good amount of height. My sides are holding down really nicely. This pomade has a good amount of slickness to keep everything together. Getting that lowish medium shine and the scent is subtle but present. So anyways, let's talk more about the I Hate Monday Grease. Just as a quick recap, I Hate Monday is the sister lineup from Prof Spike. I've already reviewed the other two products from the I Hate Monday lineup and if you did watch those videos, you'd know that I wasn't entirely impressed with those products. But as for the all base pomade, I actually really like it. Maybe because I'm just an all base pomade user, but I do think that this has some good attributes. Now for starters, application with the pomade is really easy. It scoops up with very minimal effort, breaks down the same and goes into the hair with very minimal resistance. You get a good amount of slickness to keep your hair nice and tight without it feeling overly greasy. It also provides a nice amount of control for styling. It's really intuitive to work with and it can give your hair some nice height and shape. For the hold, I don't really get that firm to heavy hold that it claims to be. What I get is a lightweight medium to firm hold at best which honestly is still good enough to work with. The endurance with the pomade is also pretty decent. It is more of a lightweight pomade so I wouldn't recommend using this in bad weather but for general indoor use, it's gonna hold up perfectly fine. And as for washing this out, I find that about 3 showers with shampoo should get the job done. Rinsing it leaves behind a soft and clean buildup which doesn't add hold for next day use but can give some nice control. So anyways, final verdict on I Hate Monday's Grease. I give it a 4 out of 5. Maybe I'm biased towards all base pomades, but I still think that this is a good pomade nonetheless. It's a really nicely balanced pomade overall, and even though it's not the best option for really hot weather, it still has good overall performance. If you're looking for a good, well-balanced all base pomade from Malaysia, this is a really solid option. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the review. Do leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel right here, or you can check out my last video right here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.